Okay, so this is a continuation of the problem. And the part that we need from the previous part, I guess the quantity of interest, is the velocity parallel to the plane or to the ramp. And that number was 5.4 meters per second. So we had a ramp with a 30 degree angle. Uh, this was height of one meter. And notice that this velocity, which is parallel to the plane, uh, once we go in the second uh, segment of the problem in which um, the skateboarder is in the air, it has a, the, the easiest way to deal with this one is to have a vertical component because gravity is acting only um, along the vertical axis and a horizontal component. Uh, and this V parallel, it's this velocity over here. So it still has an angle initially of 30 degrees and it has a horizontal and a vertical component. Okay, so how do we proceed? We need to know how long it's going to take the skateboarder to uh, get to the ground before we can figure out what is the distance that she covers. So we can use uh, the position versus time kinematic equation. And if we write it you know, just for fun, uh, for y, so the vertical direction, so we have this kinematic equation. The final position is going to be zero, and the initial position is one. The initial velocity um, along the vertical direction is V naught um, sine, because it's the opposite, sine of 30 degrees. But notice that this V initial is the V final here, the, the velocity parallel to the plane at the end. Um, so I guess I'll just rewrite it. I don't want to delete it, so that it's a reminder there. This is from segment one, this is from segment two of the problem. And we just assume that there's a direct connection there. Okay. And the acceleration in the y direction is gravity pointing down. So we can rewrite this as um, I guess I'm going to write the numbers already. Oof, that's very ugly. Sorry, old whiteboard. Uh, one meters plus the 5.4 meters per second. Sine 30, uh, it's, that's 0 0.5. And then the time, let's assume that t initially is zero, so we can forget about this delta. So we just have this t over here. Um, and then minus, because the gravity is gonna be pointing down, one half of g, and then t squared. Um, and I said that I was going to write numbers. Oh, this is a better one. So negative 4.9 meters per second squared times t squared. So now we just have a quadratic equation here. We have to solve for the time. This is a straightforward application of the quadratic um, formula. The solution to the quadratic equation, which is, I'm gonna use, because I'm using a for the acceleration, I'm going to use alpha, beta, and gamma, and hopefully I will not get too confused. So this will be
This is a quadratic equation, okay? Could be B, could be A, could be C. I'm just using Greek letters so that I don't get confused with this A. Okay, so um, alpha has the quadratic component, so it's gonna be minus 4.9 meters per second squared. Beta is uh, 2.7, so 5.4 times 0.5, 2.7 meters per second. It has the linear component or the linear term. And this one, the gamma is just one meter. And okay, this one was a better one, right? So you can still see it there. Okay, so then I just have to plug in these numbers into this formula to get the time. Um, how do we do that? It will be time equals minus 2.7 meters per second plus or minus the square root of 2.7 meters per second squared minus four and then alpha is negative 4.9 so minus times minus I'm gonna put a plus here 4.9 meters per second squared and gamma is one meter Okay, and we divide that over uh, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Cool. So this time is going to be uh, negative 2.7 meters per second plus or minus, uh, this is going to be 7.3, and this whole thing is 19.6, so this is square root of uh, 26.9 meter squared, second squared, square root of that, um, and then we divide that by, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it over here, and then negative 9.8, meters per second squared. So then the time is negative 2.7 meters per second plus or minus uh, 5.2 meters per second. So I already took the square root here. Divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So here you can cancel out the meters and then uh, this second square is gonna go up here and you have seconds. So you can cancel them out and this one here. So you have seconds as the unit. Um, notice that if you take the positive 5.2, then this whole thing is going to be negative, which will give you the solution uh, not after it gets over here, but when it was over here, right? The equivalent. So if you take the negative and negative and negative, then you have a positive number, and that positive number is 0.27 seconds. Cool. So I don't have a lot of space left but we don't have to do much more. So, now that we have the time that is going to take the skater to touch the ground, um, we know that the initial velocity in x is the initial velocity cosine 30 degrees. 
which is the velocity parallel cosine of 30 degrees parallel to the plane. So the initial velocity for this segment is 5.4. So then we can use the schematic equation. Um, Yeah, I guess we want the distance, so I messed up. Hopefully this will not be too bad. Okay, not too bad. Good. Um, so x is x naught. Okay, so here the acceleration in along x is zero. We have no acceleration. We only have gravity acting along the vertical direction. So I'm going to remove it. It's not too bad. And this initial velocity uh, is the initial velocity along x, which is, oops, this one is better. And we want to know the difference, so x minus x naught, we can say that this is the beginning. So we can move the x naught over here and we get delta x. Right, and uh, this initial velocity is the 5.4, so delta x is 5.4 meters per second. Um, oops, I forgot about the time here. Times uh, cosine 30 is uh, 0 0.8660, square root of 3 over 2. And then the time is a 0 0.27 seconds. And I still have some space here for the solution. Delta x is 3.8. Okay, awesome, thank you.